everyone, James back here, and it's time for some more VGC 2015 battles on the doubles battle spot ladder. Today we'll be using this team for one last time before the new year. We are going to be using Megalophony, Talonflame, Sylveon, Ludicolo, Bishop, and Latias. And let's find a battle. And this will be the last time we'll be using this team on this series, but hopefully some of the members will be coming back. Megalophony was a lot of fun. But I bet you guys want to see a new team by now, so... Let's get this team one more battle. We will find someone from Canada, 1665 rating. Let's see what they have in Team Preview. We're gonna see the team of... Camerot, Lapras, Bishop, Cresselia, Ariyama, and Sylveon. So it's kind of obvious that Trick Room is gonna be their main objective. I don't have a very good way to counter Trick Room. Other than stalling out the turns of Trick Room. And I still don't have much of a way to counter Trick Room to be honest. I do have Helping Hand Sylveon. But that's pretty much it. I do have Helping Hand Sylveon. Let's see, Bishop is probably going to be the way to knock out the Cresselia. He only has one way of setting up the Trick Room, which is the Cresselia. And as long as I beat that, I should be good. I think I'm gonna leave Bishop and Ludicolo with Sylveon in the back. Sylveon definitely needs to be in the back. I honestly like Talonflame. But between Talonflame and Lopany is my last Pokemon. Let's think about this. Talonflame does give me good options for the Hariyama, and Brave Bird does do a lot to everything on his team. Megalopony gives me a number for his Bisharp. And... Lapras as well. I think I'm gonna go with Lopany because using Fake Out to stall out Trick Room turns is very necessary. My main objective for this battle will probably be to get rid of Cresselia early. I can't stop the Trick Room from going up, but hopefully I'll be able to at least knock out the Cresselia early and stall out the rest of the turns of Trick Room in order to uh, sweep up the battle. He's gonna leave Cresselia and Hariyama versus my Bishop and Ludicolo. Turn 1. I'm just going to fake out and knock off the Cresselia. His Hariyama is probably going to go for Fake Out onto my Bishop, which I'm actually fine with. Fake Out's going to happen onto Cresselia. Going to do a little amount. Knock Off is going to happen onto the Cresselia. Looks like he went for uh, Close Combat onto my Bishop, which he does, and I'm also fine with that. Hariyama's defense is going to... Well, actually, no, I forgot I carry Focus Sash. I am so used to running Life Orb on my... Bisharp. As Cresselia is going to flinch, he does not want to take a... He does not want to take another knockoff with his Cresselia. I really wish I remembered what he had. But Cresselia rarely carries protect anyway, and I feel like the rest of my members in the back can knock at Cresselia with a double target. I'm going to Iron Head and Scald. The Cresselia slot. Cresselia doesn't carry protect. Yep, he is gonna switch out. Let's see if he's gonna switch out to I'm thinking Sylvia. Camera. Not really what I was predicting, but I did go for the Scald onto the camera slot. And my Ludicolo is faster than my Bishop. I forgot that I invested in speed. Scald's not gonna knock out the camera. Iron Hand is gonna go onto the Hariyama. It's at minus one. And that does about half, I'm satisfied. Rock slide's gonna happen from the Hariyama onto both my Pokemon. Which is going to do a little damage to my Ludicolo, but not got the Bisharp. But I'm very satisfied right now. I'm going to send out my Sylveon. As he's probably going to send out Cresselia and try to set the Trick Room again. Sylveon's going to come out, and he's going to send out his Lapras. That is very interesting. But I'm just going to Hyper Voice, and I'm going to... I can switch out my Ludicolo right now, and I shouldn't have to fear anything, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out my Ludicolo, go into my Lopany to take the Freeze Dry. I should be able to take a Freeze Dry, no problem, 
and Hyper Boy should knock out the Hariyama and do a decent amount to the Lapras. He's gonna switch out his Hariyama. He probably wants fake out pressure for later in the game. As he's gonna go into Cresselia, Hyper Boy's gonna have out to both the Pokemon. Gonna do a lot of damage to both of them. Freeze Dry is gonna happen onto the Lopini, and I am fine. Freeze. Well, today, that's the second freeze that happened to me today. One of them during my scramble matches, but I'm still fine, actually. Lavras can't touch me, and I'm free to go for another Hyper Voice. I'm gonna Mega Ball my Lopini and go for the High Jump Kick onto the Lapras and just Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice should knock out the Cresselia, as Cresselia is just gonna go for the Helping Hand. Okay, I'm also fine with that. As Lopin is gonna fall out, get the high jump kick, knock out the Lapras, and Sylveon gonna knock out the Cresselia with a Hyper Voice, and he'll be left with a Hariyama. That basically has no chance against a Sylveon Mega Lopini. And I forgot who I had in the back. Oh yeah, my Moody Colo. Hariyama shouldn't be able to do anything. As Hyper Voice will KO and High Jump Kick will KO. He can fake out, but I'm just gonna go for Hyper Voice and High Jump Kick. I have no reason not to. Hariyama doesn't usually carry Protect. He's gonna go for the fake out onto the Sylveon. I'm fine. Megalopony going to get the High Jump Kick off onto the Hariyama, which is gonna knock out for a game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, follow me on Twitter and Twitch for updates on my channel and streaming. Be sure to subscribe for some subscriber battles you guys can have with me on my YouTube channel. And yeah, hope you guys have a great new year and there'll be a whole new year of brand new content. I'll see you guys next time.